We're going to take this in two stages. First, I'm going to introduce the formula, which is written up behind me, and then I'm going to show you what each angle and length refers to in which part of the triangle. Then we're going to substitute, drag and drop into the formula, and we're going to work out and come up with the correct answer. So let's start off with stage number one. Let me introduce to you what each parts of the formula are. So let's have a look here. We're looking for the length little a. Why? Because it's opposite capital A, which is the angle, 48 degrees. So we're looking for this little A here. Let me write it down here. Right there. There's our little A. That's what we're going for. And here's how the formula looks like. It is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now that is very long and lengthy. It's got a lot of carriages. It's a very long train. And when we take the appropriate numbers, the correct numbers, and put them in there correctly, it's all just drag and drop and it comes up rather easy. So let's start to look at and take a closer look at what each letter refers to here, what each pronumeral refers to. Well, as I mentioned earlier, little a refers to the length directly in front of the 48 degrees capital A. Now, that's what we're looking here, right? A, that's what we're finding. Over here, we've got the little b and the little c. Where are they? Well, capital B is down here. So therefore, directly opposite will be little b. So let me mark that out. There's our little b. Similarly, right opposite the capital C, the angle, is little c, the length. And we'll call this little c right there. Now that we've labeled our diagram, our triangle displayed right over there, we can easily see where to drag and drop the appropriate number. So let's take another closer look and continue with this very long formula. Over here, we continue with minus 2bc, and then we multiply, there's nothing there, it's actually a dot, by cos of alpha, and that alpha, or A, that capital A, is actually the capital A angle right here, 48 degrees, okay? How do we know it's cosine rule? Very easy, it's cosine because it's cozy. We have an angle located amongst two lengths. We have the length C here, 20 centimeters, and the length B here, little b, 17 centimeters. So that's how we diagnose and detect whether or not it's a cosine rule or another one. So. There's our formula. Let's start to drag and drop the appropriate numbers into the formula. So let's start off. We have a squared equals. Now we have little b, which is right over here. That's going to be 17. 17 squared plus. Then we have little c right there. That will be 20 squared minus 2 times. Now what's b again? Little b is 17, yeah? So we go 17 times little c. There's a little c there. Put it there. Times 20. And then we cos alpha, or a, capital A. That's 48 degrees. Let me put that in blue right there. 48 degrees. There's a 48. There's a 48. Okay. Now... There's two sections to this formula, and we are going to separate them into two sections. The first section here is this part here, the 17 squared and the 20, uh, 20 squared. Then we have the other section here, right there, the second part of the train, or the second carriage, and we're going to keep them separate until finally we subtract one from the other, because as you can see, we have a minus sign there. So let's work out the section here on the left first of all. So a squared is equal to... 17 squared in the calculator will yield 289. Plus 20 squared in the calculator is 400. Minus, let's go for the second part of the formula here. Now we've got 2 times 17 times 20. Now on your calculator, just that part will yield you 680. Times cos... And what's that? Cos 48, yeah? There's the cos 48. There it is there. So we've got the two sections there. I'm going to further simplify this section here in the right. 680 times cos 48 on your calculator will give you a grand total of 455. On the left-hand side, if we add up 289 plus 400, that's going to be 689, isn't it? 
So 689 minus 455. Okay, so A squared equals that. Now let's subtract one from the other. 689 minus 455 yields us on the calculator a grand total of 234. Now, is that the length here? 234 seems a little big. Well, don't forget, it's an A squared. We need to square root both sides. So let's do that. Square root, square root. So eventually A is going to equal, which is code for BC. It's the same. Capital B, capital C is the same as A. So that length right across there, A square root of 234 is... Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com. You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.